So I'm Sharon Gilbert and I'm the new co-chair of NTW. I'm Yvonne Conicky and I'm the co-chair of the NTW. So today Sharon and I are going to have a conversation to get to know each other, but we already know each other. <laughs> yes, we've already had a few chats, <laughs> yeah, we've haven't had we? had a few so, chats, so we're alright. Yeah. <laughs> well, for, for me, because I'm already a chair of someone else, one of the things that really excited me about being a co-chair is like is having somebody to share it with. Mm. Because what I discovered is it's really quite a lonely place to be. Because the thing about being a chair is that in theory you're right, you're right at the peak. Yeah. And yeah. like, who do you talk to about stuff? And also as a female chair, I found it really difficult to find other female chairs to mm. talk to, to share stuff, to be coached by, mentored. Uh, so I think we're really lucky to be able to have that opportunity to do that together. And yeah. it doesn't matter to me that we might not always agree. And in fact, even better, because yeah. that's where the challenge comes, isn't it? Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's it. That was exactly why I thought co-chairing was uh, important. You know, I know there was talk at one point of having a chair and a vice chair and that perhaps you could do that. And in my head, I was thinking, no, no, that's just not going to happen. I'm not going to invest all this time and get to know you. And then find that we're kind of dealing with hi a hierarchy. Yeah. You know? That was the one thing that I really um, was trying to avoid. And I think there's so many times, there's so much about um, career where you are the person, you know, and then you're vulnerable. You know, if anything goes wrong, it's just you. You've got no one to talk to about mm -hmm. it or you have to go and find, you know, advisors or other members of staff or someone else. But if you've actually got someone who's there with you all the way, then you can kind of weather the storm. You know, you can actually see a storm if it's coming and go, oh, a storm yeah. is coming. How are we going to prepare for that? And although I'm, you know, I'm not Welsh, you are. Mm -hmm. Like having lived in South Wales and now living in North Wales, it's really exciting for me because I've learned a lot about Welsh culture, Welsh language and all that stuff but it's exciting to be involved in theatre in Wales because you know when I went to university in Edinburgh that's when I first got like I grew up in Shetland right so right. the closest we got to theatre was mm -hmm. panto okay. the local community panto so you know no professional performances none of that stuff um, so when I went to university in Edinburgh and you're in the middle of the Edinburgh festival you can imagine like can't oh, you like all your senses yeah. are titillated there aren't they and the Edinburgh yeah. Fringe especially, and I remember seeing a performance by Lee Bowery. don't know if you know. Oh, yeah. I do, of course. So Lee yeah, Bowery and The Fall yeah? put on a ballet musical Fantastic. performance. And I just remember thinking, my God, I didn't know that things like that, like growing up in Shetland, yeah. didn't see anything like that. And it just really, really excited me that you could bring, you know, so many different forms of art together. And I think, you know, that's what NTW and its creative programme is going to be really good at. You know, Edinburgh is yeah. a small city, mm -hmm. and it's massive. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it punches well above its weight in the yeah. arts, and I and I, you know, and Wales does in many ways, and certainly I think NTW can put mm -hmm. Wales on the map for theatre. The one thing about growing, and if you like growing yourself in the arts, is that you're always looking for your authentic self because mm -hmm. you know that's the only thing that's going to work. And if you try to fit in, you start to fail straight away. You can feel yourself failing, and yeah that's always that's always the thing and in fact i suppose if it's because i've been true to myself in in many ways why i'm sat here with you now mm. you know so um i don't know what i how i see i again i just think that wales has got a, it's got things that are unique that's authentic about being a Welsh person, whoever you are. And I think it's about bringing that out culturally in the work that we do and making that really sort of like sparkly and, and exciting for people to kind of connect with. And yeah, I think when you're able to do that, then you can really, you can excel. Mm. And the the way you excel again is, is a way that makes you feel as though, you, you know, you're doing it because you're being you. You know, you're bringing, you're, you're able to bring your all, give it your all. And, and theatre is a lot about that, isn't it? When you're on stage, you really have to give it your all. Yeah. For people to, because you're trying to reach out to the guy at the very back of the uh, auditorium or wherever you are, you know, whether you're, you know, working in the street or wherever you are. So if we can, if we can do that, then we're doing well. You can move five miles down the road and there's a different version of Welsh culture. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. 
it's yeah. exceptionally different, and but yeah. you don't yeah. have to travel very far to feel the difference. Mm. Exactly. Yeah, which is a challenge because that's one of NTW's challenges. How do you represent everyone? And I think looking at NTW's plan is one of the things that I would love to be able to say after our term is that there has been a positive contribution to the economy because people. Yeah, for real. And they don't not not just a gig here and there, but an actual long term contribution, so that yeah. people have got the skills and the creative talent. Mm -hmm. To work in Wales or work anywhere they want, you know, exactly. it doesn't have to be exclusive to Wales. Yeah, and it's not doesn't have to be exclusive to people who've been to the right schools or the right university. Yeah, yeah. You know, it can be people who have never been to university. Why not? I mean, that's the kind of talent talent we really need to harness. And yeah. we talked about that earlier on, anyway, yeah. about bringing people in who are just raw talent, who are just really hungry and excited to get involved in an environment like this that may not have had access. You yeah. know, and really tuning in and finding uh, that kind of energy, bringing yeah. it in and, and growing it here, nurturing it. So Both of us, I think, agree that we would like to create those opportunities and it's integral to what NTW want to do anyway. Yes.